All right, it's July 25th, 2019. It's Thursday. Um, I am good, but overwhelmed. I uh, I don't think... I'm not down. I'm not depressed. I'm not sad or anything. I just feel overwhelmed. And so I'm currently working on that. Um, I think I... <clears throat> Sorry, I was working out. Um, I think that I, um, I don't know, I've just been, I don't think I've put enough time, damn it, I run, I fucking, hold on a second, okay, yeah, I don't think I've taken enough time to myself consistently enough, um, right now it feels like, it feels like I'm getting pulled in every which direction, and, uh, it's just exhausting. It's really exhausting, and 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 I just need to, I just can feel like I need to do something different here. So I think what I'm gonna do is like once a week, maybe maybe once every two weeks, I'm gonna organize my schedule in such a way. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's like Whew. okay. So even it's like <laughs> so like even stuff with that. I know I'm sure someone who's listening is thinking, well, man, just wait till till you're done with your podcast and respond, which I've decided I'm going to do right now. But it's what, what I mean by getting pulled in every which direction. Sometimes it feels like if I don't stay on it, it's all going to fall apart. I think that I think I, I really appreciate George for being able to go off and do his own thing without me having to say anything. He just does stuff. He gets stuff done, which is really nice. Um, but it really does. It feels like if I am not on top of it, the 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 dominoes just the domino effect starts and it will all fall apart. That's how it feels, and I don't know if I'm um, I don't know if I'm over exaggerating that or if I'm overthinking that or if I'm 100% correct and that if I don't answer quickly and if I don't get on this quickly that it would all fall apart. I have no idea, but um, <clears throat> that's where I'm at with that. It's it's stressful. It's like it's just so much. And sometimes it feels like when I'm talking with people, they don't understand. It feels like um, it feels kind of like if I'm talking to one person about one particular part of my life, whether it be my actual day job or stand-up comedy in general or the buddy system specifically or plenty of other stuff that I don't really feel like getting into. Um, it can feel like someone will be like, well, I'm asking this of you and that's not that hard. And you know, why aren't you, why can't you just do this? Just do this. And what they don't realize is like for them, they're asking me to do this one thing and it's not that hard, but they, it, it feels like those type of people don't realize that there's like a hundred people asking one thing of me. And all hundred of those people are thinking, well, it's not that hard. You're just doing one thing. I, I really hope that makes sense. I don't want to sound like a crazy person here, but that's that's what's going on. Um, and as far as as far as my feelings on that, I uh, it's something I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna have to navigate that a little better uh, for time for myself and focusing on myself. Uh, but I'm not down, not depressed or anything. Just overwhelmed. I, in fact, right now I feel pretty productive. I. Um, <laughs> You know, growing up, I was always told, well, it's like, be careful the company you keep and what you take in affects what you put out and, you know, all that stuff. And it wasn't something I ever took too seriously and never really thought about. And I think, I, I can't remember who I was listening to or what was going on at the time, but I just decided like, all right, I'll, you know what, I'll give this a shot. I'm just going to take in um, as much motivational, positive stuff as possible and see what, what that does to my mood or my, my train of thought. So I've been listening to a lot of like Joe Rogan, but I don't listen to his whole podcast. I'll just look up Joe Rogan inspirational, like comp, comp, comp compilations. Is that what it is? Inspirational compilations. And I'll just listen to that. I'll listen to fucking Kevin Hart on Joe Rogan. I'll listen to Bill Burr, uh, David Goggins. If you look him up, he's a crazy person. Um, I just watched, I know I'm late to the party, I just watched John Wick 2, and I gotta watch John Wick 3 once it comes out on DVD, and 
you know, Keanu Reeves. Like, honestly, if I can get to as close as whoever the fuck Keanu Reeves is on the, on the inside, I would be a happy person. <laughs> like, I want to be like that guy so bad. Um, but my version of that. I, I'm basically, like, I'm basically taking in people who I look up to, who I think are motivated people, who are positive people, who people I want to emulate. Um, and I've just been taking in and consuming everything about them. And I think it is helpful. Like I, I feel more motivated. I work very hard. Um, and, and I'm happy about all of that. I, um, I think now it's right, right now I have the motivation right now. We have this traction with the buddy system and within the comedy career that I'm trying to make. We have a little bit of traction, which is cool. Now I'm trying to focus on myself as i've been saying before you know i've been i think i think i said it in one of the last podcasts about where i just walk around and i anytime i drift off onto thinking about someone else i just say worry about yourself and that's been helping um every now and again i forget to do it and then i end up stressing myself out and then i start doing it again and i feel better so yeah right now i'm i'm you know with the business everything's going going well and now i'm just focusing on myself and trying to work and figure out how I can find my inner Keanu Reeves, which I think is what I'm going to call it right now. Like, you know, between David Goggins and Rogan and Bill Burr and, and like The Rock and all those guys, I think all of those guys are great. But if there was one guy I would love to be more like, it would definitely be Keanu Reeves. So I think I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to work on this more. Um, I don't really have much else to say on it other than I'm doing okay. I'm just overwhelmed. Something's off and I just need to fix whatever's off. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm proud of myself now for being able to pick up on that much earlier. Uh, it used to be something would be off or everything would be off and it would take me months, if not years to notice or figure, really figure it out. And now it happens in like a week, maybe even a couple of days. I'm like, ah, something, I need to fix something. I'm going down the wrong path here. So that's where I'm at. Um, I guess I'm going to be on my journey to find my inner Keanu Reeves. And, and I'll let you, whoever, fucking, but I mean, Nick Laney and Johnny Gold is who I guess are the people that listen to this. I don't know. If you listen to this, if you're someone other than Nick Laney and Johnny Gold and you listen to this, you can email, email the Buddy System Co. I'm, I don't, I don't, again, I don't ask George who listens, um, I, I'm totally in the dark with whoever is hearing all of this stuff. So, yeah, just, yeah, going to find my inner Keanu Reeves. All right, I'm uh, leaving the light early.